For patients that undergo an IVF or an egg freezing cycle, um, we need to monitor ovarian stimulation. So patients take injectable medication for anywhere between 10 and 12 days. Um, and the point of the medication is to grow follicles on the ovary. Follicles are structures that we presume have eggs in them. Um, so the idea of ovarian stimulation is to take injectable medication to grow follicles on the ovary. Patients need to be monitored here in our office every two to three days to look for follicular development. And that is done with a transvaginal ultrasound and with blood work. The transvaginal ultrasound looks for growth of the ovarian follicles and the blood work looks for rising hormone levels that correlate. When the follicles get to the optimal size, we then trigger the patient to start the process of releasing the eggs. However, before they're fully released, we take the patient and we do an oocyte or egg retrieval or an egg harvest. That is done using the same transvaginal ultrasound that we utilize during the monitoring process. Um, and we're able to see under ultrasound guidance these follicles that have grown and we remove the fluid from the follicles and hope that in the fluid there is an egg. Um, the patient does receive IV sedation for this process. So they don't remember or feel anything um, and actually typically do quite well. Um, most patients don't need more than Tylenol or Motrin post egg retrieval um, and pain is, is quite minimal. Um, after the egg retrieval, uh, the work then goes to the laboratory here at RMA where we look for um, the fertilization of the eggs if they're going through an IVF uh, process or to see if the eggs themselves are mature prior to freezing the eggs.